Hey guys, welcome back to the Outcheaping YouTube channel. My name is Austin, and in today's video, we're gonna be walking through the process on how to replace a Jeep Cherokee XJ center console bracket. Now, if you guys know with these center consoles in this Jeep Cherokee, they like to come loose after a while, um, especially if they get banged around or whatever, and you might notice that it's actually a little bit loose in between the seats there, and that's simply because from the factory, they came with a plastic uh, bracket that's on there, and today, we're gonna be replacing it with an aftermarket metal one, and I'm gonna show you that here real soon. But I'm going to walk you through the process from start to finish. It's a fairly simple process, so let's get right to it. All right, so this is our metal bracket right here that we're gonna be using to replace the plastic one that's on our Jeep. I got this one right here off of eBay. This is a uh, cheap $20 one. Um, we came with free shipping and everything like that. There's a bunch of sellers that sell it for around the $20 mark. The seller that I got it from was YJ Performance on there. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can find that. There's also other companies that uh, make these as well. Um, I believe uh, Dirtbound and JCR Off-Road and stuff like that, they make these brackets, but they want an arm and a leg for them, and there's really not much to it. So a cheap $20 one um, should work just fine. Yeah, it might not be the prettiest with welds or anything like that, but it's going to do its job. So we're going to stick this into the Jeep here today. So let's go over to the Jeep. We're going to uh, pull off the old center console and then uh, take off our old bracket and slap this guy in. All right, so moving on to the inside of the Jeep here uh, with the center console right here. To be able to replace that bracket, we're going to have to remove this, which is actually fairly simple. Um, as you can tell, the main problem right here is that this guy is pretty loose, and that's just from that broken uh, plastic bracket, which is actually right underneath here. So I already went ahead and I cleaned out all this because we have to get to some screws that are on the bottom of this box right here. So we're going to zip two Phillips screws out of the bottom right here, and we're going to pull off our bezel for our shifter and our four-wheel drive shifter down here as well. Pull off those screws, and then this thing is going to pop out. And now for our transmission shifter right here, we're going to pull off this handle, which simply just pulls out just like that. And then this bezel right here, you can take it on the left side and this just clips in. So we're gonna pop this out of place. And then we'll have to watch. There's actually a wire connection down here. So we're just gonna rotate that and slide it out for our little shift light. And then same process for this side over here. Now with those bezels out, that gives us access to two more Phillips screws. We got one in the bottom right corner here and then one on the right side of where the shifter bezel was. All right, so now with all those out, you can tell this is getting pretty loose. So we're just gonna have to uh, play with the shifters. We might have to move them a little bit just to be able to get this whole entire thing out. We're gonna take our parking brake bracket and lift that up as well. Now I'm going to lift from the back. Looks like I'm going to have to shift this into four low, so i got to cycle the key for that. Put it in neutral. go we'll set that to the side all right so with that console removed we have our HVAC duct right here that just kind of rests on top we're gonna remove that for now and then this is our bracket right here that we're gonna be replacing you can see it's all loose on top here the screw boss is all cracked and yeah you can see how uh, crappy this is just from getting banged around and then your whole console is pretty much loose so this is held in by uh, two more screws we got one up here and then there should be another one down here by the driver's seatbelt buckle but it looks like uh, mine's not there for some reason so we're gonna pop this guy out and then replace it with our new bracket all 
All right, so I misspoke. There's actually three screws holding that bracket into place. Um, my old bracket actually had one of the feet broken off of it, so it only had two of them on there. But the last one's going to be in this back right corner over here, just another Phillips screw. So now we got our new metal bracket right here. I'm going to slide this down into place and make sure that our holes all line up on here. The one right here by the driver's seat that's going to be a little bit tight. I might end up having to uh, move my seat forward just to be able to get that one in. Um, but I'm going to start feeding in some screws and we're going to get this guy cinched down into place. All right. That is all in there and that thing is solid. There is no movement coming off of that. So that's gonna be nice platform for our center console to screw into. Um, you might have noticed there is a electrical module underneath this and that is actually our SRS module um, for our airbag system. So you wanna make sure you be careful with it. Don't mess with any wires. Don't pitch any wires as you're screwing this into place. All right, so now for our rear HVAC duct, we can pop that back into place over here. Make sure it clips into the front. It's gonna sit nice and tight in that new bracket. Now for our console, we'll just slide it back into place. And then make sure our lights for our shifter bezels pops through the correct uh, corresponding holes. Make sure you got the seat belts on the outside and then this should just drop straight down in the back. So since I was missing some hardware for that bracket that I had on there, for this top right here, I'm just gonna shoot some self tappers into this. Um, they have pre-existing holes in there, so these should just go right in. These are uh, number eight self tapper screws. There we go, that thing is nice and solid back here. Then we'll just finish up with the screws up front. And then we can pop our bezels back into place. There we go, that is all finished up and holy cow, that does not move at all. Just the lid right here because it has a broken clip on there, but this thing is solid and I haven't had a Cherokee that has this solid of a center console ever. So that's a cool, easy install to do. I honestly wish I would have done it earlier because that is pretty nice having that nice and solid. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. This was a quick, easy upgrade to do for your Jeep Cherokee XJ. It's a common problem on the 97 to 01 to have that bracket break free on you and just have a loose center console. So having a nice steel replacement one is the way to go for that. And I only spent 20 bucks on it for a cheap one on eBay. Just a little bit of tweaking I had to do with the legs just to make sure that the holes line up, but other than that, it fit perfectly onto there. So I'll post a link down below so you guys can check that out as well. But stay tuned because we still have a lot more to work to do on this Jeep Cherokee XJ. I have it back on the road right now. I just threw on a factory replacement bumper on here. But I do have an off-road do-it-yourself bumper that we're going to be welding together and putting that together here soon. So you guys want to stay tuned for that. We're going to be making a couple of videos on that. I also have some front frame stiffeners that arrived too. So we're going to be welding and burning those into the Jeep as well. And make sure you guys stay tuned because here shortly we're going to be releasing our website where you guys can go and buy some out jeeping merch. So stay tuned for that. It's still in the construction phase right now, but very soon we're going to be dropping that so you guys can go and pick up some merch and help support the channel. So if you guys like this video and found it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to the out jeeping YouTube channel to help keep these videos coming. If you have any questions or comments, like always, post them below and I'll be happy to answer. I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.